Chad Foster, everybody, it's me, Jazz Hockey, back for another review. Hopefully everyone had a fantastic New Year's, and I know I sure did, so let's kick off this first review of 2010 with Revenge of the Fallen Nest figure. It's called, it's called the Nest Global Alliance subline. There you go, in Dirge. Now, Dirge here is it's a fighter plane. Uh... Classic, so I guess somewhat classic dirge, dirge not really dirge colors, kind of somewhat, kind of. I mean, you got the with the teal blue, the kind of gold or color, or maybe it's just a glittery bronze. Color. I don't know. I, I'm gonna say it's gold, but there you go. And some black, and that's pretty much it for jet mode. It looks pretty nice. It looks really, really neat. Um, people that say it has a more of a has a animated feel to it. And I agree. I, it looks somewhat anime-ish. Animated-ish. When I mean anime, I mean Transformers animated. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. Very cool. Very cool indeed. So, enough of this malarkey. Let's get on to the transformation. What I'm going to do is get these freaking guns out of the way. Alright. Call the blending gear SO. And off we go. It's going to be popping off panels left and right. Okay, just gotta take this apart like so. And just hold this down like so. Alrighty. And just get this out of the way. Like connect to create the crotch roll region. Okay. Gotta do -do -do. open this up. Flip these panels out. Like that. See? Follows everything down. Okay, and this right here is going to become the chest, as you can see. Hold this up, fold this up like so, bring these down. It just looks like a jumble mess right now, but it will get there. Just got to stretch out legs a bit, like so. Okay, take these things. And rotate them. This will become the leg, the feet. Okay. Same thing for this side. Just gotta be stretching it out. There we go. Okay. The legs are pretty much done. Just gotta. Bring the wings down in the back. Like so. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Next thing we do, we take this up. If this high as can go, which reveals his head, you fold these pieces up, which forms his cone head. Take the arms, rotate them, flip this hand. Close, booyah, flip this, straighten out, fold, collapse, booyah, and then the last thing to do is just connect these tabs into the back, and then here we have, ladies and gentlemen, Revenge of the Fallen, Dirge, and the wing, the, the guns, they can either go here, or they can go here. Let's just put them on the arms for now. And why not? Go. Okay, and this one goes right here. Okay, so again, this is Dirge in robot mode. I gotta say, when I first transformed them, I. For some, for one reason or another, I just didn't dig it. For some reason, I'm looking at, I was looking at him, I'm like, mm, not really feeling it. The color scheme and how he looks, I mean, it looks nice in terms of the, how he, you know, detailing and whatnot, and you know how the colors look. But I don't know, he just looks flat. Like he, I don't know, someone, everything just looks flat. Nothing really sticks out. I mean, if you look at him in a, at a different position. 
yeah, you can see more things popping up. When you look at them straight wise, it, everything kind of looks flat. Well, to me at least. But, besides that, uh, articulation. The head can rotate. There you go. Arms can rotate. Can go in and out. Bend at an elbow, joint, and whatnot. And yeah, it's got the, the gorilla monkey scratching armpit kind of arms. Can't really twist his wrist and whatnot. Legs can go forward and back. Bend at, at this weird knee. You know, the foot can also move and it can go in and out. No waist articulation. And in terms of Mecha Live gimmick, right here we got gears on his nipples. You turn them around. Look, he's got spinning nipple gimmick. It's for the ladies. You know what I'm talking about. And look at that. The missile shot. And let's see. There we go. So yeah, overall, uh He's an okay figure. He's not the best. He's not a great figure, but he's not bad of a toy. Uh just I just think that particularly the arms, the arms kinda get hindered with all this uh Let's say kibble crap on him. And the fact that he doesn't really hold his guns. They're just resting on weird points of his arms. It's kind of a eh. But I'm just nitpicking here. I'm pretty sure some of you people out there will like him. And that will be cool if you do like him or whatnot. But I'm rambling on. So yeah, that's my review of Dirge. He's okay. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I'm Jay Asante. I'll talk to you all later.